USC. You are on campus. Whoever you are, Mr. or Mrs. Average Citizen, student to be, WSC grad or present day student, you are on historic Hello Walk at the State College of Washington. Perhaps you've come back to relive old memories of once familiar scenes. Or perhaps you're seeing the State College of Washington for the first time. New arrival or old timer, present day student or citizen at large, you find here a myriad of scenes of infinite interest. For this is WSC. Geographically speaking, you're in eastern Washington, south of Spokane. This is the world famous Palouse country, some of the richest farmland on earth. In the heart of this area, the town of Pullman and the State College of Washington. Incredible changes have been wrought here since that raw January day in 1892, when 29 students and five faculty members gathered in the crib WSC's first building, high on barren, desolate College Hill, overlooking the tiny town of Three Forks, later to be called Pullman. Today, thousands of students, scores of buildings, a faculty of hundreds, compose the modern WSC community. As you view this resident college at close range, you see the meaning of the term WSC community, or you see young men and young women from every part of the world and from every social and economic level of our society, working, learning, living, growing, experiencing the stimulation resulting from close contact with a dynamic, vigorous faculty, and from solving mutual problems in the classroom, laboratory, study room, together. Here in this community of their own, you see WSC students, future leaders, thinkers, planners, doers, building for a thousand new frontiers, new frontiers of the Pacific Northwest, from the many dormitories on the WSC campus, in the living units of all kinds which characterize this resident college, in the group houses, the fraternities and sororities, the cooperatives managed by the students themselves, in the cosmopolitan atmosphere which typifies this student community, they settle to the business of learning, of meeting new challenges, reaching new horizons in their individual development. For providing this invitation to progress, as a part of the mainstream of American culture, WSC commands a position of leadership. You become increasingly sure of that when, for example, you visit the busy Washington State Institute of Technology, where students and full-time research specialists probe a world of wonders every day. You see future mechanical engineers studying the intricacies of complex engines, like this modern Uniflow steam engine. You watch the operation of the grating spectrograph, and you feel humble when you learn of its power to solve complex mysteries of nature. The new and growing light metals industry in the state of Washington receives impetus from WSC metallurgical research as technicians control giant machines in developing new techniques of lasting value. In the hydraulics laboratory, you see a complete irrigation system reduced to its theoretical minimum, permitting studies of great value now and in the future cultivation of the areas to be reclaimed by the Grand Coulee Project. You learn of the strange new worlds which the electron microscope permits WSC engineering students to explore in man's never-ending quest for knowledge. While one laboratory and its technicians specialize in experiments with pumice blocks, to assist another new Washington State industry, another is devoted to facsimile transmission and reception, and to other research problems of value to the armed services and national defense. H.V. Carpenter Hall houses many of the classrooms and laboratories which make up part of the WSC College of Engineering. It is here you see students preparing for careers in the ever-widening field of electronics and in the highly specialized field of architectural engineering which makes stern demands upon the student's imagination and ability if today's planning is to keep pace with the trends of tomorrow. Frequent field trips to significant engineering projects throughout the state, such as the Grand Coulee Dam, help prepare engineering students for work in their chosen fields. College Hill itself serves as a laboratory for students of civil engineering. Obvious or unapparent, practical or theoretical, each unit of the College of Engineering plays its vital role in fashioning tomorrow's builders, planners, doers, and leaders. After only a brief tour of this phase of WSC activity, you are sure of that. At the top of College Hill, 
Only a few hundred feet from the site of the crib, WSC's first building, you see Wilson Hall, nerve center of the vast Institute of Agricultural Sciences. It's a significant part of your visit to Washington State College and you go in. Here, agronomy students test and analyze soils, gain knowledge which prepares them for careers in practical farming, teaching, research, in commercial or governmental services. And here, seed germination tests are conducted by agronomy research specialists, tests which will pay off in greater yield from the crops of Washington farmers. Training in the operation and maintenance of modern farming machinery gets its proper share of attention. Animal husbandry students are thoroughly grounded in one of America's greatest industries, the livestock business. Classroom lectures are augmented by practical field study designed to improve the quality of beef cattle on Washington farms. You see poultry husbandry students learning and testing new techniques in the poultry raising industry. You see research experiments, such as the swine breeding project, designed to produce more bacon and ham and less lard, using feeds grown on the Pacific Northwest. You see the model stable area, where students maintain experimental research projects concerning thoroughbred horse breeding. In the dairy husbandry department, you see students learning modern dairy operation methods. The WSC maintained herd of 200 purebred cattle includes record-breaking producers. College-operated cafeterias receive their milk supply from this source. In Troy Hall, you see the newest dairy manufacturing methods being applied in the training of dairy husbandry students. An example is the vertical cheese press, a revolutionary development in the production and marketing of that particular dairy product. Horticulture students use greenhouse laboratories, augmented by vast outdoor experimentation areas. An experimental arboretum provides forestry and range management students with ample laboratory elbow room. One of America's outstanding schools of veterinary medicine is located here at WSC. It's housed in modern buildings containing the finest technical equipment. Students devote six years to the completion of courses covering the prevention, cure, alleviation, and extermination of diseases among domestic animals of all kinds. Research is constantly revealing new data, developing valuable new techniques in all phases of agricultural science at WSC. Such research activity is not confined to the boundaries of WSC itself. Throughout the entire state, agricultural research projects are constantly being carried forward. Experiment stations in various parts of the state are so located to afford researchers diverse soil and weather conditions with which to work. In addition to the main experiment station at Pullman, a part of the college proper, there are seven branch stations located throughout Washington at Prosser, Wenatchee, Mount Vernon, Long Beach, Puyallup, Vancouver, and Lind. Linked in purpose and method to WSC, the eight experiment stations form a statewide network dedicated to modern agricultural research. Results of work in all phases of experimentation are channeled to the main station at Pullman for evaluation and dissemination. But the information must not stop there. It must be passed along to the farm families of the state. How is that done? The answer is the Agricultural Extension Service, of which the county agent is the most important unit. In each of Washington's 39 counties, there is such an Extension Service county agent and a staff of assistants. It is the job of the county agent and his staff to work closely with his organizing and carrying forward 4-H club work and functioning as a vital link between the experiment station on the one hand and the farm families of his locality on the other. Closely tied to the heart of the Agricultural Extension Service, the main experiment station at WSC, the county agent forms the ultimate vital links in the extension system. From the seven branch experiment stations to WSC proper to the county agents, that is the operational pattern of the Agricultural Extension Service. The county agent, in working closely with the farm families of his locality, relies upon experience gained through years of association with practical farming, upon intimate knowledge of his county's agricultural characteristics and its particular farm problems, and upon the vast bulletin service of the extension system. 
Editors carefully prepare informational bulletins on scores of subjects. They're published at WSC in the college's own modern printing plant. Objective, to place at the disposal of more Washington State farm families agricultural information of proven value. These bulletins are mailed to all parts of the state, supplementing the on-the-spot extension service contact worked by the county agents. Supported in part by the 39 counties of the state, by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and by Washington State College, this, then, is the way WSC's experiment stations serve more Washington State farm families through the Agricultural Extension Service. Your visit to the WSC campus proceeds, and you see Todd Hall, maybe for the first time. And you remember an interesting historical fact. Close by the location of this modern $2 million building, once stood Old Ferry Hall, one of WSC's first buildings surrounded by a cabbage patch. The contrast wrought by a few decades is dramatic. And you stand for a moment before this, one of the finest classroom buildings in the West, named in honor of WSC's most famous educator, C.C. Todd, for 29 years Dean of the College of Sciences and Arts. Then, yesterday, having received its moment of homage, your attention once more fixes on today. In the several campus buildings which house the College of Sciences and Arts, you see young scientists learning to unravel nature's long hidden mysteries, preparing for today's and tomorrow's realities accepting the post-war fact that Americans no longer live in a cloister. Mathematicians learning to apply a long-known formula to new situations in the faster, smaller world of today. Students of chemistry gaining scientific knowledge to help prepare them for a place in private industry. Research technicians using Geiger counters and other equipment necessary in radioactivity studies working on special atomic energy assignments. Biologists, zoologists, bacteriologists, probing beneath the surface of the evident, learning the whys and the wherefores of nature's complexities. You see research projects involving the incalculably fast field of radioactivity and its effect on living plants and organisms. And in geology laboratories, you see students studying the secrets of natural crystals, learning new facts about time-worn Earth. The world seems smaller, its broad seas, ponds, its continents a stone's throw wide for students who know its history, the complex mosaic of its political characteristics, the languages and cultures of other peoples, other countries. At WSC, the Dr. J. Horace Nunemaker Hispanic collection of early Spanish and Mexican works is a priceless contribution in that regard. But not only are analyses of the past contained in the curricula of the Arts and Sciences departments at WSC, the contemporary scene is analyzed by periodic Washington State Public Opinion Poll studies conducted in cooperation with the University of Washington. The scientific sampling and tabulation of Washington State citizens' opinions on a host of subjects which touch and influence the everyday lives of everyone characterize the sociological poll studies. You see WSC psychology students and research specialists who staff a complete guidance clinic receiving careful basis for advanced work in this ever-widening field. Courses in the field of political science and administration include work in WSC's crime laboratory with its wide variety of the newest, most modern crime detection apparatus, among which is the famous Lee and Keller psychograph or lie detector. Law enforcement and crime detection administration throughout the country welcome many WSC graduates in this field.
composed and performed portions of the score for this motion picture. While actual performance gets high priority, particular emphasis in the music department is placed on the training of teachers in composition, theory, and instrumentation. During your tour of the speech department activities, you visit Brian Hall's darkened stage, and there in the shadows, you can almost hear dramatic bits of long forgotten dialogue. And later, you see talented performers on that stage give reality to a drama which would tax the finest Broadway company. Throughout the School of Music and Fine Arts, you see natural talents being cultivated by students of sculpture and painting, all under the supervision of a staff of accomplished artist instructors. Future teachers develop art techniques to be applied in their teaching careers. You visit KWSC, the college-owned 5,000-watt non-commercial radio station at the State College. You see aspiring announcers, actors, writers, technicians, and production personnel using this practical broadcasting laboratory, which offers scores of worthwhile programs of every kind to the listening public, not only within its own area, but statewide by transcription as well. If it's near midday when you visit the School of Home Economics, perhaps you lunch in the dining room operated by advanced students. They amply demonstrate the skills they learn in nutrition and dietetics laboratory courses, which compose part of the varied curricula in home economics. You see fabric labs, where students learn by actually doing, making fabrics to specific designs. Interior decorating, home furnishing courses, color and design, instruction in every skill required of students who plan careers in the field of interior decoration. Wherever you go on the WSC campus, you notice the emphasis is given to practical instruction and training. Perhaps, for example, the courteous young clerk at your hotel in Pullman is a student of hotel administration. He is gaining practical experience in the commercial field of his choosing, augmenting basic courses studied in other departments. Students with many varied interests are enrolled in the School of Economics and Business Administration, where courses include business machine operation, secretarial training, typing, and a host of other practical business office procedures, which augment studies in economics and the entire field of business administration. Further underscoring the basic WSC tenet of practical instruction for specific careers, your visit to the School of Pharmacy reveals students receiving the most careful laboratory instruction, which includes even training in compounding telephone prescriptions in a laboratory containing 60 such phones for that very practical purpose. Since 1924, many hundreds of WSC pharmacy graduates have taken state pharmacy board examinations. Failures have averaged only one per five years, a national record of achievement. Intercollegiate athletics make headlines which often obscure the fact the WSC's School of Physical Education includes scores of conditioning activities available to all students. Two large gymnasiums, field house, stadium, and several playfield areas characterize the athletic plant, honorary factotum of which is Butch, the Cougar mascot, symbol of all WSC athletic activity and inspirational source of Cougar spirit. Skilled instructors teach interested students the fundamentals of boxing, swimming, track and field events, fencing, tennis, the ancient art of archery, the modern sport of golf. Physically handicapped students receive help through physiotherapy, skillfully supervised by instructors whose day-to-day -day instruction in physical education prepares them for careers in organized recreation fields. WSC athletes compete in intercollegiate baseball, basketball, and football teams. The colorful activities which go hand in hand with varsity athletics more often than not include the tolling of the traditional victory bell, signaling WSC's triumphs in the field of sports. The scholastic heart of every institution of higher education is its library. Exceptionally fortunate in this respect is WSC, 
For here is located the Ernest Holland Library. It contains more than half a million volumes. While it directly serves the student body at WSC, also it indirectly serves the state and nation through providing the Library Foundation for extension and correspondence courses. More than 600 correspondence courses are completed each year, and this total, like the resident enrollment, continues to grow. To keep pace with WSC's growth, the physical characteristics of the campus continue to change with the construction of new housing units, some temporary, some permanent, and new college buildings progress from planning stage to blueprint to reality. This great college belongs to the people of the state of Washington. One guiding objective, to offer a larger opportunity in life to more young men and young women. We are using the experience of yesterday to build a better tomorrow. My purpose, as you register for the first time at WSC, Mr. and Mrs. Average Citizen, accept that forthright pledge as you remember having seen WSC in action today. Present day student, let that earnest resolve be your guide as you claim your birthright, your heritage of higher education. WSC grad, as memory frames familiar pictures out of the past, accept that solemn assurance of your alma mater's changeless objective. For dedicated to a better tomorrow, for all of you, this is WSC.